Many Americans are unaware that alcohol and cancer are linked. I don't know. Maybe? Probably? I'm sure. What, what doesn't increase cancer, you know, right? I've never thought too hard about that, but I wouldn't be surprised if it did. Yeah, I think it definitely could. I mean, I know alcohol affects your liver negatively. In fact, one survey revealed fewer than a third of adults recognized alcohol as a cancer risk factor. Yet alcohol is the third leading preventable cause of cancer behind tobacco and obesity. And another recent study found one in eight cases of breast cancer and one in 10 cases of colorectal and liver cancers are attributed to alcohol use. Yes, colon cancer incidence is on the rise in young patients. Certainly tobacco use is a big factor, alcohol is a big factor. Several health organizations, including the American Society of Clinical Oncology, have called for the federal government to add a cancer warning to alcohol labels. And the American Cancer Society has recently issued new guidelines that warn there's no safe level of alcohol consumption for cancer prevention. Maybe I would probably cut back on it a little bit, but you know, if it's a risk type scenario, I don't know that I would cut it out all the way. Those who do choose to drink should limit their intake to no more than two drinks a day for men and one drink a day for women. Helping you limit your alcohol consumption and cut your risk of cancer. I'm Marty Salt reporting.